But I read the paper and I realized that they didn't get it quite right because the way they described their system, it was possible that uh, a violation of causality was possible. That is to say, one event, you know, one operation that happened before another operation uh, would have been executed as if they had occurred in the, in the opposite direction, uh, order, opposite order. And the, what was going on was very obvious to me because um, I understood special relativity uh, and, and I think a fairly visceral understanding of, of special relativity. And the thing about special relativity is that <clears throat> events which are in special relativity points in space-time are not totally ordered. Uh, there's a partial order, and the partial order is defined by the fact that, that um, by the speed of light. And one event occurs before another if that event could influence the other, and that means that it is possible for a light beam to get from where this event happened to where that event happened uh, before, you know, after the, you know, for this event to have emitted a light beam that arrived where that other event happened before that event happened. Um, and I realized that what was going on in the distributed system, and clearly in distributed systems uh, everywhere, was that you had a, dip and a, uh, a completely, completely analogous uh, partial ordering of the events that happen in the distributed system where the ordering is not by light waves that could have been sent, you know, but messages that actually were sent. So that an event here happened before an event there. If there was some message that was sent between uh, after this event here from here and that arrived at that event before at that place before the other event, or uh, more generally, if there were a chain of messages, you know, messages from here to there, and then a later message sent to there, that got there, you know, after this event and before that event, 